Hi, welcome back to Lance and G. If you've never been here before, I'm Gianna and I create easy nail art for beginners, beauty videos, and more. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be showing you 13 nail art hacks for using nail tape that I've learned over the last three years I've been doing nail art. Stay until the end if you're interested in entering a nail art contest and let's get into the first hack. Hack number one, make sure to pick up some nail tape. I like to go shop the nailartstore.com. I love that it supports a local nail artist and I love that I get my order in three days. Hack number two, use a polish with a flat cap to pre-cut your nail tape. Trust me, this makes your life so much easier. Hack number three, remember which way you place the tape on your nails. If you start going horizontally, place all your nail tape that goes horizontal and then go vertical. That way you can keep the layers straight when you go to remove it. Hack number four, use either a small dotting tool or a pencil to keep control of the polish. You don't want to see your polish smearing into the next square. Hack number five, remove the tape before the polish dries. All right, so here's the finished manicure. I think this manicure is so unbelievably beautiful. I think it is a perfect capture of summer and summer vibes. If you love this manicure, let me know in the comment section down below and let's move on to the next manicure. Hack number six. For manicures that show your natural nail or have negative space, use a ridge filling base coat. Hack number seven. Add all your nail tape designs all at once. Hack number eight, when working with polish, work with one nail at a time. This is going to allow you to make sure that those lines stay nice and crisp. Hack number nine, follow me on Snapchat for behind the scenes upcoming manicures and for design ideas that don't make it onto YouTube. All right, so here's the finished manicure. This manicure reminds me of beach balls. I think it's so pretty and I can't help but love the tips on these. I think it's just so simple. All right, I hope you want to give manicure number two a try. Let's move on to the last manicure. All right, so hack number 10. Always add a quick drying top coat and allow your manicure to completely dry before working with nail tape. Hack number 11. When laying a light polish over a dark polish, make sure you choose a polish that's opaque. Hack number 12. If you can still see the dark polish underneath, a simple fix is to make the light polish thicker. I'm completely in love with this manicure. I think it looks so pretty. I think this pink is such a perfect summer pink. So my nails kind of feel like they grew a little since I added the white to it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Will you give this manicure a try for this? So which manicure was your favorite? Manicure number one, two, or three? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have a nail art contest going on and three nail art beginners will be winning a $25 gift card. Check out this video here if you would like to learn more about the nail art contest or I'll put a link in the description down. I hope you have a safe and happy Memorial Day weekend with your family. I'm so ready to get out in the sun so I'm going to head that way and here are my three favorite recreations that have been submitted to the nail art contest so far. If you would like to be featured next week, make sure you send me your recreations on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag LanceNG and, and make sure to tag. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!